Hey everybody, this is Glittercat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory. In real life, it's been a little while since I last played. I've got a couple other Let's Plays uh, going on the channel right now as I record this. But let's get back to it. What we want to do this episode, we're working towards the versatile frameworks up in the top right. We need 500 of those for the space elevator, but we need a whole bunch of those for... Um, down the road as well, I believe. So what we need to do now, last episode, I think we finished up our iron rod factory. I still need to close, <laughs> I still need to close it up. Just like I need to deal with just about all the other factories. But um, yeah, working towards versatile frameworks. We have iron rods done. The next step is taking those iron rods, combining them with reinforced iron plates to make modular frames. So let's, the way we're gonna do that we're actually going to take reinforced iron plates from the factory right above our little blimpy buddy here. Now he's blocking it. We're going to deliver those iron plates over to the rod factory and make the modular frames in the rod factory. So let's actually... We're going to transfer those with a truck station. So we're going to play with tractors and trucks today uh, and do some experimenting. I have not played with these in a long time, so... I make a bunch of mistakes, I'll try and edit those out of the video, but we're going to do some experimentation. And the first thing I think we want to do is let's go over to the rods factory and set up a receiving truck station that's going to accept the reinforced iron plates. Let's get that set up first and then we'll come over to the reinforced iron plate factory and set up a um, kind of delivering truck station over there. And check it out, I did close up our, or partially closed up, our um, smart plating factory. I think that can came out pretty cool. I like those colors. I do need to close up the sides and things, but try to come up with a little creative design. Maybe I can do some windows in there or something, but uh, let's get to it. Iron rods are straight away here. And yeah, we're gonna do some experimenting. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge because I think I mentioned last episode, we actually need three different truck stations here. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to do it. And we've got deposits here that we don't want to step on too. Shoot. Are these, what are these, two impure irons? Yeah, we will likely make use of those some later date. Hmm. All right. Let's start with, um, let's put foundations down and then put the truck stops on top of foundations, at least to start. In fact, you know, we could try the other foundations here too. Um, where might I get those onto the hot bar? Do we have the concrete ones is what I'm thinking. We don't. Let's, uh, let's spin up a fix it or a, an awesome shop. Boom, just for the heck of it. And see if we can buy, we've got 21 tickets. I should have stopped by the uh, the awesome sink and picked up some more tickets. I'm wondering if we can go with concrete or is that just a paint color? Nations architecture. Where might you be? Go from the beginning. Don't need any of that stuff. Management. Yeah, somebody was mentioning that there's a ceiling mount for pipelines. I don't see that here. I see the floor hole wall attachments. I don't see a ceiling mount for those. I do see ceiling mounts here for conveyors. Let's grab the ceiling mount. That might be handy underneath our factories where we're routing material. And I know a couple of people wanted me to make use of these, so maybe I can find a use. Let's add those to the cart. Anything else in here? Don't care about hyper tubes just yet. Clean pipeline. Pipeline mark one, no indicator. Um, nah. All power, out, power outlets mark two, so I don't really need that stuff. I'm looking for concrete. Where is it? Is it just a paint color? Or do I already have those somewhere? I already purchased them and I'm just not seeing them. Okay, concrete foundation material is purchased. 
Okay, unlocked by researching oil processing. Coated concrete. I see. So we do have concrete. And I do this with the customizer. Asphalt foundation material. Um, Grip metal. Let's grab this guy. Okay, let's check out here. Buy all. Kill that. For this. Let's see what it's going to take here for me to build these. I have to do it with the paint gun. Let's see. Um, control. We're on the grid. It's been a little while since I played, so I'm going to be a little cumbersome here to get started. Oh, grass clips through. Hmm. Do we want to live with it or do we want to go up one layer? Uh, let's, let's go up one layer. I don't like the way that looks. And then we'll ramp if we need to, to get the height. Okay. Let's see. Can we just paint this out of that into here? Hmm. Miser. concrete pillars I'm missing something obvious right uh, sure I am I have to come back to it try the customizer again oh materials concrete foundations boom what do I do with this I just paint them right is that hmm Seems like there's more to it than this. Uh, we'll have to play around with that. Let's get back to building. And basically want this all platformed out. See how far we can do without encroaching on our miners. I know you can put the miners, I believe you can put the miners on top of foundations and they'll still mine. I'm not crazy about the look. I actually like them sitting right on the deposits. And a personal preference thing. I know a lot of people do them a different way. So two more. All right, truck stations. We need one to bring in the reinforced iron plates. We need one to take the modular frames and deliver them over to our steel factory. That's where we're actually going to assemble the versatile frameworks. And then we need yet another truck station to, um, to bring in coal and feed coal to the other two truck stations so our trucks can refuel. That's my plan anyway. We'll paint these up just because I did it. And then uh, I'm not going to mess with this too much anymore. Oh, right now, maybe between episodes, I can find a faster way to just build with these concrete, this concrete um, texture or whatever. Do do do. Paint these up. Might switch to blacktop too. I'm not crazy about this. Let's see. X we have. Well, we call it blacktop sometimes. I think I like this better. Stick with this for now. Okay, very cool. I like it. I'm going to push out a little bit more here just to give us more room. Let's grab a truck station. Oh, man. I'm excited to do this, but I'm also apprehensive because I don't know how this is going to lay out. Now, it doesn't have to be like a lifelong uh, decision here on the design. We have a little extra space off to the side here that we should probably take advantage of. And then we can have one truck lane kind of coming through this way and still have a observe room on that side. We may only end up with room for um, 
two truck stations underneath the factory itself, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to expand this out some more. Boop. Done. Now let's get the first truck station placed. I'm going to try to do this. Let me just plot it there and see how much room we have in the back. I don't think it's going to be... Well... He might be able to make that work. So we got a fuel input. And then we have an input if you want to ship products from this truck station. And we have an output if you want to receive products from the station. And I think you can do one or the other, but not both. Right? Yeah, load or unload. Uh, not super duper configurable as far as I know. Here's our fuel. We want to hook up storage for fuel. Just thinking through, is this going to be... Okay, bear with me. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting and then I'll come right back. All right, I'm back. I've done a little bit of thinking here, but we still have more work to do. Uh, let's go into... I'll show you what I'm thinking. Show you what I'm thinking, and then we'll get to work. Picking a station here. This one... <laughs> I'm not sure which is going to be which. But say this guy's bringing in the reinforced iron plates. And we'll route those up to the roof, or up to the end of the factory. This one will be the one that's going to pick up, um, or it's going to ship out the modular frames once we have them built. So the output from the factory will come down, feed these inputs, maybe storage out here or storage up on one of the factory floors. Maybe we'll go up for storage and have the cache there and just have a belt coming down, feeding these two inputs or one of them. And then I'm thinking another, our third truck station, maybe off to the side here. This one would be kind of meant for refueling. We'll bring the compacted coal over here, put a little storage and then run belts, maybe from that storage, up high. Ooh, we'll see how that's going to look. We'll figure it out. Maybe we can make use of those new ceiling mounts. And run that coal underneath this floor. Bring it down. And feed this guy. So he can refuel any tractors and trucks that come through. And run it along that same belt of compacted coal. Run it along the ceiling and down here. Fill up this fuel station or this fuel port so that any truck coming and picking up um, the modular frames can get refueled. So we have a little bit to do. I put down another awesome shop. Let's grab some more stuff. Uh, we have 16 tickets left. I want the half foundations. I think we're going to need these to make this look better. I don't know that it's going to look perfect down here, but we can do better. Quarter pipes. Let's try these also. Uh, add to cart, boom, back, and what else? Uh, is that not working? Back, 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 cart. Okay. Management, what else? I thought there was something else. Lighting, maybe later. Yeah, at some point I may turn off the always daytime mod. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I think, it, I think with the daytime mod, A, it's easier to watch the videos. And then uh, I think it sets it so that the plants and the animals don't respawn. And that's fine by me. And by plants, I mean like the pale berries and the barrel nuts, all that kind of stuff. I don't really need those to respawn. I don't care to deal with them. Okay, this inverted ramps. Don't think I need this stuff and these we have in the cart. What else? There's something else I wanted. Not yet. I think that might be it. Architecture. Green pillars. There's some cool stuff here for aesthetics, but I'll get to that later. All right. Good enough. Cart. Buy it. What I think we want to do, I got to deal with these little parts where the miners are clipping into our platform here. So this looks better. This one, if we orient it sideways, directly sideways, uh, that's going to free up some space. These ones, I don't know. I suppose we might be able to get another block, at least for a little bit, by turning that one. But I don't think that's super important. Let's see if we can turn this miner. 
and have this look a little better. You can go production minor mark two. Kinda like this thing. Let's see what that does. Might be just exactly what we need. And will you? Of course not quite. Uh, what do we have going on here? This belt can go. And this belt we're going to reroute, I think. You can go. You can go. And maybe we put that merger somewhere. Let's see. Will you kind of line up? Probably not. How about... Something like that, maybe? Take that one for now. Going for speed here. I can clean this up. Sometime never. It may not look beautiful. It's uh, not what I'm focused on right now. Need to get power back to this miner. Okay, that freed up a little bit of space. So let's fill it. Out there. There to there. Off color, boom. Okay, that's a little better. And then we have room for platforms here as well. Let's see what we can do. And then here's where we're jammed in. Let's see, do I have the. See if I can use one of those half foundations. One meter. Two. Okay, this is fine. That we can do. Take it. Paint that up. And we we'll be able to do one whole foundation here without clipping, looks like. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's not exactly a right angle, but it is giving us the space we need. Anyway. Alright, let's about the third station. I'll show you. Let's see. Can we... I kind of wanted to show you the area of effect. Let me grab a new truck station. Now that I have these selected, you can kind of see the, the, the footprint of these things, right? It extends all the way out where this yellow square is. I think any trucks that drive under there are going to be impacted by this guy. Any trucks that drive under here are going to be, within this red square cube, are going to be impacted by this one. But I have a lane in the middle, and that's where our coal tractor is going to drive, right through here. In fact, we could actually make use of those, um, the different paint. But basically, let's uh, just temporarily make this look like concrete down the middle this is going to be i'm going to change this later but just so we can tell what we're doing this is going to be where our coal truck comes in and drops off compacted coal at our new truck station i guess the thing i'm wrestling with right now just to explain what's going on in my head i can't have the same truck drive under two of these stations otherwise um what they're carrying and what they're dropping off could get inadvertently messed up. So our iron, reinforced iron plate truck is going to go driving under here. Boom. Then quickly turn over this way and find his way out of the factory and back to where go get another load of reinforced iron plates. Probably out the back this way and who knows what route we'll take to get out of here. Maybe along here. Go back, fetch more reinforced iron plates. Come back. Make your way over here under this guy. Drop them off. Make your way to the middle lane. Off you go kind of thing. The coal truck, 
green, uh, the compacted coal truck is going to come through. Avoid this one. Avoid this one. So it's got to stay on this path. And then work your way over here and hop into a truck station here and drop off that compacted coal. Again, the compacted coal will be delivered by belts to the other stations so they can fuel up any trucks that go through them. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's put the other one here. I think, I think we're actually okay to make these line up with each other a bit. Uh, in fact, they probably can be... Start there. That's going to be our coal. And how do we want to do this? Unfortunately, this is the most crowded area. But we'll move it if we need to. Uh, we'll move it later. Let's get this hooked up to our factory. That's the next challenge. Did I leave room on the first floor to actually bring this stuff up? Looks like I've got plenty of room here to um, bring in a conveyor lift and go up that side, maybe? Yeah, that side is all the way clear, so we're going to go all the way to the top. So I can run conveyor lift either of those ports. Um, do it here. Let's do it here. It's going to make sense as we go here. Five, bear lift. Boom. That's going to be reinforced plates going up. In fact, I might even be able to do these ports from here. I don't think I can do the lifts from here. I like it. I think that is step one. Let's go over to... Oh, we, let's uh, put a ramp here so vehicles can actually get up this way. And yeah, let's make this look a little bit better. Then we'll go over to the reinforced plate factory and do something similar. We'll do the coal, the kind of the refueling stuff last. Uh, in the meantime, we can just temporarily, I think, load this thing with some... Compacted coal. I think we've got room for another platform here. Let's do it. it. Maybe we will actually get into painting decals on the asphalt here. I go one more. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way to set a default. So I'm always building straight asphalt, but uh, like I said, I'll mess with that between episodes or something. So I apologize for the cumbersomeness. This guy can get out of our way. That guy's ready to take in reinforced iron plates. So let's go do that part of the equation. Hop in the Explorer. We need to do a ramp on the other side of that guy too, but we'll get to it. Reinforced iron plates might be this big gray <laughs> building here that I've closed off but haven't painted or put windows in or anything. Not pretty. Man, Matt, routing the truck is going to be a challenge too here. Oh man, where are we going to put our truck station here? Look at this mess. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Nothing down here. Man. Oh, no, that's our station. This is copper. Yeah, this is our copper factory. Wrong one.
That's our steel factory. I need to close that up. This is copper. I need to make it look pretty. Uh, while I'm here, let's blow up those rocks. Boom. One in the middle might do it, but let's get all of these. I have a ton of these. 450 on me. I'll clear the zone. And right click, boom. Gets rid of the rocks. Nice, I like it. See if we can make it over to the other factory from here. Sure. Oh, but look at all these rocks. We're gonna have to clear out of here. All right, here's reinforced plates. This is gonna be walled off. And then I guess truck stations this way. And this is the same kind of thing. We're, we're gonna need a station to offload the reinforced iron plates. And then if we wanna be just extra, extra judicious, I guess, I don't know what the right word is, cautious, then we can have another station that is also dropping off or bringing in um, Compacted coal that every station we put down is basically a refuel station. We're going to have to clear these rocks. I know it. So let's just do that. Boom. Like I said, I've got a bunch of these. I'm not too worried about wasting. And I don't think they impact our factory. We're about to find out. Some of this stuff. Oops. All right, I've got these scattered all over. Let's move back. Pretty cool. I like it. The one that got missed here. All right, that's a little better. We have more to clear here. Let's do it. Wish we could take out those poison tubes. And I thought I could have sworn back near season one time. I thought I had read that there was an update coming that would allow us to use novelists to take those out. But I tried, and these ones don't work. Maybe one of the advanced novelists will. That might be good for now. Here we go. Fireworks. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna put up a couple sections of wall here. Let's first, before we do, let's take a look at um, how this works. This is our storage array. It is loaded with reinforced plates. In fact, it's full. But we wanna output from these now. And this belt is kind of in a bad spot. What we could do is run that higher, use those ceiling mounts, come over here, and then uh, feed in. But this is the output, actually, right there. How can we do this? Let's, uh, let's go with what we have. We're going to put down walls, and I think that one's going to be a basic one. And then can we do the port here? That's, we're going to belt off from the top of the storage array. Ooh, ooh. There you go. 
Where they have two for now. And we want, I guess, a platform. Let's do it. Just trying to think of where our truck's going to come in, right? So if I'm the truck. Ooh, yeah, there's, it's a little tight. So tractor's going to be coming probably from back here. Right, it'll be returning from the iron rods factory, wherever that is. Way off in the distance somewhere. And it's going to come and pick up a new batch of reinforced iron plates, which is straight ahead. We might want to use this section I'm looking at right now. We're going to want to export copper products, too, from our copper factory. And this is a good place for truck stations to that factory. We'll probably... Bring our tractor around like this somehow. I have to pave over some of this bumpy terrain. Come in this way. And then somehow ramp, come up ramp here. Hmm. Show you what I mean. A ramp over here to pick up those reinforced iron plates. We know we're going to build out from here quite a bit. Let me get our truck station put down so we can size things and figure out how big this platform really needs to be. Can I jump up there? Yeah, I can. Good. Let's grab the truck station. I think we can come in a bit. Man, yeah, it takes up a lot of space. I need to leave room in the back for belts to route. But maybe... Yeah, I don't even have a foundation there. Oh boy, a foundation's worth of space to route the belts. I'd like to have a foundation worth of space. Let's... Let's be stubborn and try and see if we can make this work. Okay, better. We'll make this asphalt later. Okay, we need to worry about two different inputs on this guy. Fuel input, that's going to come later. We can throw in something here. It's got to be compacted coal, actually. There we go. So that has an initial batch of fuel. That's not going to last very long at all. Let's get our output belts routed. See how this guy does. Mmm, ugly. Uh, can you... I gotta use conveyor supports, probably. Alright, that came out a little better. A lot better, actually. Kinda like the way that's looking. Um, wall mounts. Could this be the time for wall mounts? Folks want me to use the wall mounts. And this might be a good time. Let's, um... I'm just gonna temporarily wall this up a bit. Wall mounts might make sense here. Let's do it. Let's see if we've got enough points. Wall mounts, pretty cheap. Easy peasy done. We want to route into this guy here. These ones, I believe. So what's that going to look like? I guess. Be line this up. Oh man, good luck. Oh, 
How are we looking? Hard to tell. I think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to take it. How are we doing? Are we getting reinforced plates? We are. I like it. We don't need to worry about extra storage, right? Right behind the wall, there's a huge storage array full of these things. We've got a tiny bit of fuel. That is going to be an issue. But let's start working on the actual tractors now to deliver from point A to point B. I'll show you what this is going to look like. Here comes our tractor. As played by our Explorer vehicle. Come around here, boom. Up. I need iron plates. You got them? Yep. Here you go. Boom. Cargo drops in. And then you can quickly just drive off, right? There's nothing for you straight away. Unless you want to take a long way back. Let's see. Could this be a thoroughfare? You would need to make your way all the way back to the... Um, Iron Rod Factory to drop these off. That route looks long. Going long routes have an impact on our the time, right? How much we can deliver in a given period of time. And then also the fuel usage. We're running on compacted coal. I think I may have mentioned that I thought it was more efficient than biofuel. It's not. But uh, it's something that we can have automated. Whereas biofuel is a little more difficult. Or do we want the tractors coming through this mess? This is definitely the shorter route. We're gonna have to clear some trees. I don't know if this guy will take out trees. No, nope. <laughs> he won't. I'll have to clear those trees. This, I believe, is the shorter route by far. Yeah, that's our factory right there. That's where he's gotta go. These trees have to come out. Let's just do it while we're here. We know it has to happen. Boom. I think we could use Novelist for this, too. I wouldn't have it clogging my inventory, but... Okay. Grab these. They're close. Here, let's take this guy out. Came through here, right? Let's get these rocks out of the way. Something's a bit done. I'm not worried about overkill on them. Can't take that big rock out. All right, now I got to get somewhere where there aren't any. Yeah, we may have to pave some of this over. Man, I don't want to have paved roads. Because that's a lot of work. I do want these guys to drive on the terrain here. I think I'm going to actually... Uh, that can go. I'm going to actually set this up so they go straight on through, drive down, and then kind of do a loop around here. And then avoid truck stations that'll actually be there for the copper products. So they're probably going to have to loop out this way a little bit. Probably quite a bit, actually. And then drive back. See that in a second here. For now, let's uh, end this guy here.
All right, time for tractors. Let's um, let's do that next episode. Actually, let's play with that next episode. We get our truck station set up. We've got the reinforced iron plates piped in. We've got an initial little tiny bit of fuel. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem on the fuel. Um, but we'll solve that once we get our first truck route at least defined and things. But yeah, let's leave it here for now. This is a glider kit saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the series on Satisfactory. Very, very cool game. We're on our way. And we are on our way. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll get to the trucks. And I will see you then.